Hello, welcome to Hit The Mic TV. I'm your host, Lee Stacey Harris, and today we're talking about YouTube live events. YouTube live events are awesome for webinars. I love running my webinars through uh, Google Hangouts. However, I don't want them to broadcast live on my Google Plus page and on my YouTube channel while they're running because I want you to have opted in to see them before they get there. So this is what I do. I actually set them up through YouTube live events, um, which I'm gonna show you all how to do in just a second, uh, instead of running them through a Google Hangout on air event. So instead of doing it in Google+, I'm setting it up in YouTube. That's really the whole difference right there. And you actually have the option to run it, and I talk about this, and I'll, I'll show you the selection in the, uh, t in the screencast, but you have the option to run it as uh, just really simply through Google Hangout on Air. So it's really uh, an easy way to use the interface you're already familiar with, uh, but keep it private. This is also really handy for group calls in a private program, in a paid program. For example, I run all of my Business Amplifier Mastermind group calls through this. Plus, my Business Amplifier Mastermind accountability groups, uh, the business besties that meet weekly, they use Google Hangouts on air. If they wanted to record it, they could set up a private event just like this and run it on air so they get a recording to their YouTube account and then share it with the group. It's as easy as that. This is a really, really simple tool to really take even more control of your hangout time and your hangout on air video. It's really, really simple, but I want you to do me one little favor, maybe two little favors. I want you to subscribe to the channel and I also want you to hit the comments below and let me know how you're gonna use the YouTube live events. Is it for a web show uh, that you'll run public? Is it for a webinar? Is it maybe part of your group program? I wanna hear how you are going to use it. I am in the video manager. Um, in my YouTube channel. We're looking right over here for live events. This is basically going to walk us through the actual setup process. And what's cool is here is where we can actually make this public. So it's it's on our channel, running live, all of that good stuff. Unlisted, which is going to mean it is not listed anywhere uh, on YouTube. It's not gonna show publicly on your Google Plus profile or anything like that not going to show, uh, it's not going to stream live on your YouTube channel. I actually use unlisted for my webinars because obviously I want you to opt in to the webinar to do the webinar. Uh, so I uh, create this and then I just get the embed code and embed it on a page on my website, which is also really nice because then uh, when you are watching the live airing of broadcast, whatever you want to call it, of my webinar, or you're watching the replay later, you're watching them in my home. You're watching them right on the stacyharris.com. You also have the option to choose private. The thing to remember with private though is for people to be able to see it, you're gonna need to add names, circles, or email addresses. Even if you're going to house it on your website, uh, if they do not have permission to use it, they or to see it, they will not be able to see it. It'll say private video. So unlisted is the way to go for webinars. Private's the way to go if maybe you're using this to uh, record something that you're going to use for some, like to download for something else, or uh, maybe you're just recording something really quickly for a client and you want to send it over to them. You're just going to put your information in, your time, your date, your tags. Uh, you have your advanced setting here is around comments and licensing and and this stuff is all sort of stuff that you would find uh, as you're uploading a video. So that stuff's all pretty familiar. Uh, and then basic info, I wanna go back because this right here is gonna be really key, it's the type. If you use Quick, it'll actually use Google Hangouts on air uh, as sort of your interface. If you are new to this, this is what I would really suggest. Um, again, this is basically the way to host a less public hang out on air. If you are a more advanced user and you're looking to sort of up your game, uh, you can choose custom and use, I will put a link to it in the description below, um, but you can use that and it's really, really cool and it's got, it gives you a lot of really powerful capabilities. Uh, but with that said, it, there is a learning curve with it. So I suggest uh, before using that for say a webinar or a live show or whatever, uh, I would suggest doing one of these private videos and sort of practicing it, uh, playing with your options and your setup and making sure everything flows. All right, so that is how I set up live events. It really is that simple, but like I said, I get this question so much. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, uh, like this video if it was helpful, leave me a comment and let me know what other videos 
you would like to see in the future. Um, but most importantly, subscribe. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Good sweet or buffer or Edgar or TweetDeck or Sprout Social or whatever else it is you might be using.